So when you're appraising a new deal, what do you expect to see from a developer? So in regards to the deal itself, I have a number of criteria. My holistic approach to due diligence looks not just at the deal, but at the developer and if it's crowdfunding the platform themselves. But in the deal, for the deal specifically, I talk about this in the article that I did for Property Investor News in January. I have a kind of rates and rents framework. This is high level and each of those kind of could be a whole article in and of itself. But the rates very quickly are the return. What return am I, or am I being, or am I expecting? The amount that somebody wants to borrow, the time frame. And I want that to be as realistic as possible, which sometimes is, is a stretch for developers. Um, what are the exits, preferably more than one? And what's the security? And the security and the return are very much tied. And if people want to understand more about that, do check out my very recent LinkedIn post about it where I go through the capital stack. These numbers aren't just plucked from thin air. Mm -hmm. Risk has a specific price and that is called return. The rents are worst case scenario. I want to know, can I lose, is there a possibility that I will lose all of my money? Mm -hmm. For example, a planning gain, you know, are generally risky. You might get it, you might not. Um, so what is the worst case scenario? And then I can work out if, if I'm happy with that risk. Uh, so other risks in the deal, um, so planning that, that, that we've said there, are there any kind of objections? You know, the, there's a whole load of kind of inherent risks. So I will assess what I think the risks are in the deal, but I always ask a developer because I want to see what their perspective is too. Yeah. And I want to know that they've thought holistically about all the risks. Uh, their experience, I like to know about why do they believe that they can really deliver on this project. Mm -hmm. The numbers, obviously, you know, I want to know return on GDB, return on cost, you know, all the all those kind of like like parameters, um, and uh, and obviously the legal, the legals come into security, and then skin in the game. Yeah, I want to know what the developer has on the line. Um, you know, so I would like to be an invest, uh, developers investing in their own projects as well. So exactly, yeah. I want I want to know that if and when something goes wrong, that that we're I'm basically we're all aligned. If I'm hurting, I'm afraid I want you to hurt too. Yeah, because that keeps you aligned and all going in the same direction. So, yeah. It's, well, that, that kind of leads me on as well to my next question about due diligence. So when you're looking at working with a new developer, what kind of due diligence do you undertake um, on them? What kind of processes? As I said, I have a very holistic approach yeah. to due diligence. So I do do all my rates and rents, and that's the very kind of left brain side of me that looks at all that stuff. But this is a people business. Yeah. And certainly the way I treat it is, as is a people business. It's not transactional for me. I don't want to do one deal and then, you know, and, and that be the end of it. I want this to be kind of an ongoing relationship, hopefully, because yeah. I invest a lot of time, of energy, of effort. And so my due diligence will spit, will start way, 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 way before I actually do a deal with somebody. Um, I'm what just doing my about? first. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just doing my first deal with somebody that I've watched for three years, for example. Mm -hmm. And I've seen how she's grown and how she's developed and the effort she's put in to, um, you know, to kind of educate herself and learn who she surrounds herself with, who her kind of peer group and who her mentors and you know that the resources that she has has to um, draw on, and I also want to see like how they treat other people. Have they done right by other people? And ultimately, that's what it comes down to for me. Will you do right by me? Will yeah. you do what you say you will do in the time that you will you say you will do it? And will you do right by me? Um, so I say it's very holistic. I like to speak to, I say speak to everybody. And when I mean everybody, I mean everybody. Yeah. And if you think they're not 
involved in any way. You know, and it's just a, oh, have you heard of so and so? And you know, you know, how do you, how do you find them? For example, one developer I was considering a deal happened to speak to a friend that's an architect. I didn't know these two people were working together. This architect hadn't been paid for four months. Not a good start, is it? Not a good sign. What confidence does that give me? I'm going to hand over to my money to somebody that isn't paying the people that he works with. Yeah. Alarm bells. Yeah, red flags. That's why I said, like, speak to everybody. Yeah. You're always going to get people that don't like, you know, don't like you or there's a personality clash. I'm sure there's lots of people out there that don't like me. That's just fine. I'm not for them and they're not for me. But it, it is about, you know, something we said earlier, like about values yeah. as well. And making sure, making sure you align. Yeah. You know, people just sometimes look at the numbers and think that's the be all and end all. It's not. Yeah. It's really not.